Hello, how are you doing today? Yeah, I'm okay. It feels a bit different. My name is Sohil Kaswani and I'm an integrative psychotherapist by profession. You don't really need to understand what that jargon means until we really start unpacking your story. My job is not for you to like me, but it's for me to create a safe space for you to be able to explore yourself a little bit. Sounds fair? That sounds good. The last therapist I went to was just obsessing about my negative thoughts and wanted me to replace my negative one with the positive ones without even understanding my negative one in the first place. It did not make sense to me. Seems to me like you really like shrinks, don't you? I guess you're funny. Glad you'll have something to say about me to your next therapist. All right, enough silly humor from me. Anything that we're going to talk about is going to be strictly confidential. However, there are limits to confidentiality. So if I feel that you're at a risk of harming yourself or someone else, I'm going to breach it. Is that okay with you? Sure, sounds fair. So, what brings you here, Rikra? I have been struggling with anxiety. I panic all of a sudden and don't know what's happening with me. Life was upside down completely in moments like this and I feel like I have no control over myself. Hmm. Thanks for trusting me with this. Seems to me like it gets really overwhelming for you in moments like those. How do you take care of yourself in the process? Hmm. Interesting question. I really don't focus on that, but I'm being too worried about how I'm being perceived in that panic mode. I feel like people think people think that I'm stupid or being a drama queen in that panic mode or I'm looking for attention. People? <laughs> Where are these people? Welcome back. How are you today? I see you don't want to make contact right now. Would it help if I just look away for a little bit? Yes, that would help. I feel watched. Sure, that's easy done. I have been struggling with basically everything in my life. Keeping a job has been extremely difficult. My boss is an asshole and my husband is no less. I don't know why all men have to be assholes. Oh, not you. I'm not talking about you, but all the other men out there. I'm curious, what makes me different here? Because you are trying to help me. Ah, how do you know I'm trying to help you? How do you gather that? because you are trying to understand me. Hmm. I'm curious, where is this need of being understood coming from? It's like I don't know why, whenever I try to do something for my husband, he feels it's never good enough. Ah, oh, that must be hurtful. How do you know your husband feels that it's not good enough? Because uh, he never acknowledges that I do so much for him. Aha. Uh -huh. You don't feel understood, do you? Exactly, yes. Exactly. It's funny how you understand that I don't feel understood. Can you pick on a feeling when you don't feel understood? What is that really like for you, Ikra? I just feel like a small fish in the ocean who is just anxious to be eaten by the whale, if that makes sense to you. Tell me more about that whale that is going to eat you away. The whale has pointy nose, sharp teeth, and it's huge, like really huge. Can you describe how you feel while you look at that whale in front of you. 
I feel anxious, scared, and super confused. If I take you on a journey down the memory lane and ask you to close your eyes and think of a memory, what comes to your mind right now? I come back home. I show my report card to my father. He got really furious. He dragged me into a dark room and locked me up. Don't resist those tears. Just let them flow. Are you okay? Can I hold your hand, please? Mm -hmm. How are you feeling towards me right now? I feel angry towards you. Oh, that's just the tip of the iceberg. What do you actually feel right now? I feel hurt. Now we're talking. Who's feeling hurt, Ikra? No. How old were you when that incident happened? I don't know, it's confusing. I feel like a seven-year-old girl. Who am I to you right now? Dad. Why did you do this to me? Why did you lock me? Why did you hurt me? Well, I think you were not behaving yourself and not studying properly. Maybe I deserved it. But you were just a seven-year-old trying to navigate through the school. Yeah, but still I think I deserve it. Are you sure you deserved it? Yes, I deserved it. You know what? I think you deserved it. What the hell? How dare you say that to me? I never deserve any of that. I was a seven-year-old trying to do my best. I did what I could have. Don't you dare ever, ever tell me that. You are like my husband, my boss and every other man out there. How do you feel right now? I feel much better. Thanks for identifying my need of taking a pause. I was attuned to my need of taking a break. And so, I had a sense of you. Thank you. What do you think has been happening here for you? I think I have blamed my husband and my boss for something my father did. We're surely getting somewhere. You knew that when I got off tangent and blamed you? You did that all on purpose? I was just honouring a part of me that you were experiencing in this moment. You're damn good, aren't you? <laughs> I think you're just being too kind right now. What do I do now? I feel like everything is out of that Pandora box. Did you bring one with you? I keep all the Pandora boxes in this room. One is mine and the other one is the client's. Mine remains closed, almost closed, but opens up big time in my therapy sessions. You go to therapy too? Oh wow, so you're as crazy as me? <laughs> you just underestimated my shadow. Ask my therapist maybe. All right, enough about me. Let's come back to you. What does the little seven-year-old want to say to her dad right now? I guess I have said everything to you, which I had to say to my dad. Any last words that you'd like to say to him? I forgive you. What helps you forgive him? Him being able to absorb all the anger I had and said nothing. I mean, you did that. Yes, I did. I think like your other therapist, I should have just obsessed over your negative thought patterns and asked you to replace it with a positive one. How do you feel right now checking out of the session? What? It is already over. Can we talk for 30 more minutes? 
Oh, I'm so sorry. We can't. This is our time together. Same time next week. Let me see if I have time next week. Just kidding. See you next week then. More power to you, Ikra.